some uh, Mediterranean food. Got uh, grape leaves. Grape leaves. How do you how do you pronounce this? Mojadar. 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 Where's my water? I think you left it inside. Uh. I'll give you my bread for a grape leaf. <laughs> you don't you don't even eat that bread, right? Yeah. <laughs> so like no you could definitely try one, go for it. I do want to taste one. You get they're good. Yeah, it looks like some good bread. Looks like some real good bread. This looks good actually. Yeah the it's pretty bum bum diggity. The grape leaves on the Fanatic. Fanatic. Mm. Good. Good. Try the lentil soup. Mmm. That's good. Welcome to another mukbang. Mukbang. We're, um... Dan was in Columbus for something. So, uh... We decided to link up and get some lunch. More like this, a uh, uh, linking type of gesture. We decided to touch tips. We were at this place called the Vosh in uh, it's on High Street in Columbus, and it's basically like a Mediterranean cafe. La Vosh. Yeah, La Vosh. La Vosh. La Vosh. <laughs> My bad. My bad, doggy. Mm. We're gonna have ourselves a nice little day of uh, eating, do some climbing probably, and then we're gonna part ways. Unlink. Yeah, what we're eating is a biscuit rice and lentil dish. You. You like tomatoes, right? Are you allergic to them? They're like all over your dish, bro. <laughs> Why don't you say something? I'm not like badly allergic to them. Your, your throat is just gonna swell up and you're just gonna <laughs> break out in hives. That's not bad, no. No big deal. What do we want to talk about in the mukbang? Um, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna donate my body to a body farm, you know, for like research. So that's something I've been kind of like really like contemplating and thinking about doing. So Daniel's been telling me a lot lately, lately that he wants to donate his body to a research type organization, mm -hmm. and that's making me think that he has plans to kill himself. <laughs> <laughs> Because he's been talking a lot about it. You can never be too prepared. <laughs> you know, gotta start writing my will. <laughs> yeah, it'd be pretty cool though. I think so. I mean, there's also like other variations because I don't want to spend thousands of dollars on a casket, you know, you know, all that, like all that other stuff you know burial like that's expensive mm -hmm. and you know I, I saw this one TED talk and this one girl was you know like you know had some good points like you're, you're put in a casket where the dirt never touches your body so you're never you know your body's never broken down into the soil and I think that's like a big part about giving your body back into the earth you know even like you know burying your body in actual dirt and then like planting a tree on top you know the tree uses its nutrients and almost like you're part of the tree. I think Basically that's way, I think that's way more like awesome, like than, than thousands of dollars in a casket, you know, that's buried in ground, covered in. I think it's like happier too in a way. It's like 
when you're putting a casket and you're putting the ground, it's just like you're isolated. It's almost like yeah. you're not your body isn't allowed to escape. You know? Yeah. It is weird. It's like you're ice, like you're in like a cell. Yeah. Yeah, that's awful. I get it. It's tradition, but still, like. Yeah. Native Americans did it, right? <laughs> and they were definitely more in touch with, like, the earth mm -hmm, mm -hmm. than we are now. Their spirituality level was much higher. Yeah, I think that'd be pretty cool. I'd love to, like, be buried and, like, have a tree, like, hanging over me. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Well, there's also areas that, like, where a body's like buried, like it's like a conser conservation type of deal. So like, if your body's buried like on this plot of land, it could never be developed, which is also really cool to help you know save the environment and like. Yeah. Such like a. Oh, it's weird. I find cemeteries really weird. Creepy. And it's a waste of land. Like. There's more people on Earth. That means more people are gonna die. It's like we're gonna need more room for cemeteries. Like it doesn't really make sense. Yeah. It's almost like wasted space for dead bodies that and are like, just sitting there. It's wasted in the name of like religion. I feel like. Yeah, religion, man. Of course, tradition. You know all that. Religion is an interesting. So powerful, okay. man. It's, it's crazy. Mm -hmm. How's lentil soup? I'll try it. Um, maybe you could just leave me some after you're done. So we're not swapping saliva. <laughs> so it's just like, I'm just taking it. <laughs> I feel like I can get a tan, dude. If I just like take my shirt off, you know, put it in the sun. Sun's being not on this right now. Would I be, would that be like indecent exposure? I mean, this is a public space, so. Be slightly indecent. That's right, great thing. Yeah. Just grab it. You know, just cut it in half. Just grab it, just stick it in your mouth. The whole thing. No. Not bad. Probably wouldn't be as bad if, you know, if you're like an attractive, good looking person, you know, opposed to somebody who's just like, hmm. not really even pleasant to look at. <laughs> oh, you don't want the other half? I just wanted to taste it. Oh, shit. Very good. <laughs> hmm. What do you want to take picture? Uh, back where we were? Okay. Last one. Cool. <laughs> yeah, religion's an interesting topic. I'm not very religious, personally. Yeah. I'd say more like spiritual, you know, in the sense that, I you believe, know. I believe that like... I do believe there's like more to what you know, more to life than sure than what a lot of people think. I think that's like kind of what a lot of religions tend to believe, also. But what I don't get about religion is like like the rituals and the like some of the traditions. How they're so sacred, and it's like if you break it, like you're not part of the religion, or you got to be shunned, or. They're not really accepted. Yeah. I think that's kind of what threw me off of, like, you know, Christianity. Like, if you don't believe in God, even if you're a good person, you're still going to go to hell? Like, what? That kind of was just like, whoa, like, that doesn't make any sense to me. Tell me you can be a good person, but if you don't believe in him, like, you're going to go to hell? Like, yeah, it's, uh, I mean, some of the traditions and whatever are, like, good, you know? I mean, like... Like, obviously, like, not, like, killing people. But then there's, like, things that are just weird. Like, I'm I'm Jewish and Catholic. And, uh, like, some of the 
stuff that like like Orthodox Jews do and like like just their weird like rituals and things like some of them involve like a- like animals like sacrificing stuff and the chickens right they got the the live chickens that's that's creepy that's just weird I mean I'm not Jewish like that but so I'm, <laughs> I'm just using that as an example. I don't understand it. It's like if God does exist, then like, why would He want you to like murder other things and do stuff like that in His name? It's like contradictory almost. You know, they try to present peace and, and love, but then on the other hand, they're like, oh, if you don't believe this, you know, you gotta die or fucking. But I feel like the thing about like spirituality is like mind and body. That's something that like I really like. Mm-hmm. Like I feel you can't you can't really achieve that unless you're almost like physically active because I don't know if you could you know be mind and body if you don't know your body you don't really know your body unless you're you know physically active and you're understanding the the movements you know that you're capable of doing oh wait you haven't been to France France. yet you want to get something to take with you no I'm not seriously dude you better take it man High traffic area over here. <laughs> it is. Just muck banging away. Nice weather. It was beautiful. Yeah. It's like 70 degrees. I'm in pants. Pant- I'm pantalones. But I'm not wearing anything underneath, so. Lunch with some rice. people say you know you're limited by your food options it's like we're eating some of the best like delicious food around you should have listened to their advice <laughs> <laughs> we also have the Cleveland Veg Fest coming up yes we're gonna try to get um like a few minutes to talk to Emily from Bite Size Vegan. Um, mm-hmm. If you have any questions you want us to ask her personally, just let us know down below. Yeah, all 58 of our subscribers. All 58 of you guys. We, we love you. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, it's crazy. I mean, we've been putting out more content as of recently, but like, Michael's talking about this girl on um, on YouTube who's started like what, like a month, two months ago. I feel like that always happens. There's like some like pretty like Australian girl who starts a YouTube channel and then just and immediately just like ten thousand subscribers, just showing what she eats in a day. And I tried that and I got like what eight views in <laughs> like two days, like. I'm gonna make it pretty enough. I guess that's what it is. I guess I'm not pretty enough. That's what it is. But yeah, man, it's crazy, man. Like, females just... Like, even on Instagram, you know? Like, a female doesn't even have to try. She just has to post, you know, a picture of her ass or something. And then hmm. she'll get, you know, followers and, and, and likes. And it's like... Guys are savages, dude. Like... People jumping on that. kind of annoying man because I mean we're putting out I'd say pretty decent content you know for like for us not even being together almost 99% of the time right right and like using only our iPhones and just I 
I was so hungry last hour. I'm starving. Hmm. Why don't you explain why you're in Columbus? <laughs> oh, um, I just got done um taking a tornado warning. Um, what's it called? A civil service exam for for firefighting. So I'm going into um firefighting and part of that is taking a civil service exam so that's what I was down here in Columbus for because they didn't offer it in um in Cleveland which is lame I mean but it's cool because you know Michael let me spend the night because I would have hated to drive down here at 6 a.m. and you know sitting in a car for two hours and then sitting at a desk for two hours I would have I would have lost it <laughs> I would have right there thrown everything all over the place but like, I showed over like a pen and a pencil and like some paper. And like it's all online. I'm like, okay, cool. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> like we don't do written tests anymore. I guess so. with the times. Right. Some old lady like laughing at me like <laughs> pencil. What? <laughs> Back in my day. We we'll use rock to chisel. <laughs> <laughs> we carved our answers in this stone. You want my salad? Yeah, I'll take all that. I'll trade you. For what? <laughs> <laughs> For one more grape leaf. No, I'm good. You just have it. <laughs> no, I'm not gonna eat any of that. Why? Let me eat that. I'm gonna get full, man. You don't eat what? The soup. I mean, it's good. It's like not in there. Right. I have to save me some, sir. That, that, you said? I know. It's fine, because I'm gonna eat all that. Mm. What are we gonna do with all the pita? It does look good. It's soft. Layers. It's good stuff. Try to take it home. Throw it in the bag. Put some hummus on it. Hummus? Is that offensive if we don't know how to say the Mediterranean words? I hope not. Hummus. Hummus. It's like a hummus. It's hummus. Hummus? Kind of like a hummer. Hummus? <laughs> mm. Oh, that's a nice doggy. Big, big German Shepherd pupper. A German Shepherd? A German Shepherd. Man, my neck is getting fried. I know. It's legitimately summer weather. I'm wearing pants. And you don't have ants in your pants. Are you trying to go to Patty Cake? Patty Cake, Patty Cake, big. I don't remember that, that theme song. What's Patty Cake? I don't even remember, honestly. Patty Hello. Cake. Patty Cake. Yeah, something like that. There's a really good vegan baker here in Columbus called Patty Cake, and we're right next door. That's it, I guess. All done. Pretty quick meal. What would you rate the food? It was good. It was good. It was it's good. Food, it's good. Food, I mean, I'm done with it. I'm ready for you know the next meal. Like, I'm not gonna sit here and dwell on it. Like, hmm. We gotta be. I'm getting attacked. I'm about to get stomped. Where is it? It's behind you. It's good. It's good.
Yeah. All right, well, thank you for joining us today for uh, <laughs> a little lunch date. A little lunch date. Sorry about the wind. That was, you know, um, we're working on that. <laughs> you got anything else to say? I do. Thanks for watching our mukbang. Don't forget to like and subscribe, please. And thank you. Have a good day. Please and thank you.